Hi everyone, my name is Tanya Rodriguez and I am a colorist and makeup artist at El Salon. Today I'm going to show you a daytime makeup look um, that you can achieve um, really quickly. Um, it's super easy to do. I'm going to break down the products that I use, the brushes, techniques to achieve this look. Um, so let's get started. So first I'm starting off with a clean face. I have nothing on my face right now besides um, my moisturizer and a little bit of um, oil. So I'm going to start off by using um, a face primer and that's going to be the MAC um, strobe cream. And what this is going to do is it's just going to give you a nice glow underneath your foundation. Um, and you really don't need too much um, and it won't make you oily. Um, and I really just uh, love this product. So I'm just going to put it all over my face. We're going to use a um, eye shadow primer and I like to use um, this one by uh, Urban Decay. I like to just kind of put it on the back of my hand. Using a flat brush, you are just going to apply this all over the eye and I'm using a brush, just a flat brush like this. This one is a Morphe brush. And I even like to put it underneath here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I'm using a Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill palette um, and this one you can find at um, Ulta. They also have a um, independent store at um, the Valley Fair Mall. You really just need some neutral colors so you can use any palette. So I'm going to be working with kind of around um, this section here. So with a flat brush, something like this, this is by Lancome. I'm going to mix this color right here and this color here because I really want the eyes to give you more of like a terracotta look and I'm applying that just right on the base of the eye. Do it just right on this flat part of the eye because we are gonna be using other colors. And so I'm gonna move on to now to this um, crease of the eye. This is a Morphe brush, M535. And I am gonna go a little bit deeper for um, the crease. So I'm gonna move on to um, this shade right here you don't want to apply too much to the brush you want to be able to work it in you want it to be a little bit softer at first just putting a little bit and then i kind of like to just tap it i like to just kind of bring it up like so with a bigger um, fluffier brush um, this is um, again by morphe um, I'm just going to smudge it all in and kind of bring those two colors together. With that same color, I'm going to now use um, a little bit more product. Uh, and I'm really just going to focus on the outer corner of the eye. Um, it's just so that it gives it more of like a cat eye um, effect. So I'm just placing it here on this outer corner and kind of moving into the crease. And then kind of just buffing that in. So again, with the uh, flat brush, this Lancome brush, I'm going to use um, a softer color underneath the brow. Today I'm gonna to use um, this color here. It has a little bit of shimmer, but not too much. all kind of blend in um, once you do your brows um, so you don't need to really worry about it looking like too white and then I always go back with this big fluffy brush um, and then I just buff it out and now um, I'm gonna move on to the lower um, to the lower lash line with this color that we used in the crease um, and in the outer corner, I'm gonna take a little bit of that color. Um, and I'm using a really small brush just to get underneath the waterline um, so it's just not so uh, messy. I'm 
just gonna take a little wipe and I'm um, going to just clean up. And then I'm also going to clean up on the outer corner of the eye. So I want it to be um, more um, like a, a cat eye effect. I like to mix my foundation. Um, I like to um, use two different tones um, for foundation because I just feel like um, in the fall, like our skin is different. In the summer, our skin is different. We're a lot more tan um, and so forth. So I like to just mix my foundation. This is my go-to, um, like an everyday foundation that I love. It's medium coverage um, and it's um, a creamy consistency, but it's not gonna dry your skin. So it's the um, Too Faced at Born This Way. And this is a natural beige. Um, and then for a more um, covered look, more matte look. Um, I like the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is in color 230. And this one's a little bit more, um, it's lighter for me. Um, so that's why I like to mix them both. I'm going to take a foundation brush, a flat brush like this. Um, again, this is a Morphe brush. I usually like to start with a brush um, and then I move on to a beauty blender. go in with um, just a little bit of the Fenty because um, I want it to be more of a color um, coverage look. Um, a little goes a long way, um, especially for these matte um, full coverage foundations I've noticed. So it will really last you and you really don't need to use that much. I use a couple different um, sponges. I, um, this one that I have is um, not by the Beauty Blender brand. It's actually by e.l.f. Cosmetics. You just kind of have to find which sponges work best for you. I really like this one. The price point is super good. Um, I think it was like maybe like $5 or um, it's not very expensive. The Beauty Blender is an investment. It's about $20 per sponge. So and I'm just going all over the face just to get rid of any lines. I like to use a pencil. I um, really like this brand. It's Anastasia of Beverly Hills. So it has this little um, kind of like a mascara wand on one side and then the product, the pencil is um, on this side. And I'm using um, soft brown. I like to just kind of brush out my brows starting on the outer um, corner of the brow. Um, I like to just uh, go along um, my natural brow line and I like to outline it first. And I'm just using really um, light strokes. I don't, I like my brows to look very natural. I don't like them to look like I've tattooed my brows. And I like to fill in the gaps. So that just gives you um, a nice uh, full um, brow and that looks um, pretty good. You could even use uh, like eyeshadow that's very close to your color of your brows. And um, so at the end, I'll just use that and um, I'll just go in and then fill in um, any gaps that I see, you know, just to make them a little bit fuller. I'm going to show you two different ways. If you're a beginner, I would um, suggest using a highlighter and bronzer as your contouring. I really like this product by um, Bobbi Brown. This one is Antigua. That's the, the powder. And then for the bronzer, it's Golden Light. Um, so I'll show you both ways because I do like to um, do my overlap my contouring. So I'll start with a cream and then I will finish with a powder. I'm also gonna be using um, this product by um, Fenty. It's a stick like this, and so you're able to kind of contour the face very easily. But again, this is um, more of an advanced um, product, uh, so um, I'm gonna show you both ways. You wanna contour um, not the apples of the cheeks, but kind of like in this area right here, and then kind of around, um, your um kind of around the face too i'm just gonna apply it like this 
and you don't really need too much um, and you're gonna go in and we're gonna buff it anyways I like to get underneath the chin uh, and just the jawline so with um, a brush uh, like this um, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna buff that out I'm going to um, use the bronzing powder that um, by Bobbi Brown. I like really like a a super bronzed look. That's just what my preference is. I'm just gonna overlap right in that same area, bringing it up. This one that I'm using is um, by Fenty, Fenty Beauty. Um, this is 180. And I bring it all the way up to this area here because I'm also going to use this to highlight that cheekbone area. And I like to put it on my nose right here. And I like to do it here just because it makes the lip up, um, appear fuller. And then I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender and I'm just going to buff that in. Any of those um, creamy um, concealers are gonna be very pigmented. So you really don't need a lot of that. You just really just need a little bit and you just wanna work, work that in. So I like to use a translucent powder and this one is by Laura Mercier. First, I like to use a, um, a brush and I like to apply it in those areas. Um, and I like to let it sit for a little bit um, and then I kind of brush it out with a fluffy brush. So I'm taking just a brush like this. Again, this is a Morphe brush um, and I'm taking a little bit of powder and I'm just going to set it here. Um, exactly um, where I put the concealer. I'm just gonna let that sit. So I'm gonna go back to my um, Jaclyn Hill um, palette. Um, and I'm gonna use those um, same colors and I'm just gonna touch up where I feel like I want it to be um, just a little bit darker or um, you know just kind of accentuate the eye just a little bit you don't need to go too crazy and then um, I like to go back after I've already done my brows and um, use that white color that I was telling you about earlier um, and I want to kind of just accentuate that underneath the brow. After that's done, um, I'm going to use a fluffy brush like this and I'm just going to um, buff out that um, translucent powder that I was using all over the face. I also like to um, use a little bit of a, um, a powder that has a tone. This one is um, light medium and it's by um, Tarte and you can find this at Ulta um, or you can find it at um, Sephora carries it too. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush like this and um, just take a little bit and just put it all over um, the face um, just to kind of um, set everything. I like to use this um, product by um, Becca and the color is um, Opal. This shade really goes with um, any skin tone. I like to apply it with a um, tapered brush like this. Um, this one is a BH Cosmetics brush. So um, I just take a little bit of that product and you're gonna put it, um, you're gonna smile and just put it right above um, where you put that bronzer and um, where you are putting your concealer on when you're bringing it up all the way up to here. That's where I like to do it and I like to work in a C, um, which I'm bringing it all the way up um, by the brows. i do the same. On this side, I like to kind of smile so I know where I'm going. 
I also like to contour my nose. Um, so what I do is I kind of pinch this together. I just take a little bit and um, I like to do it just kind of straight down the nose and it makes it um, also appear um, smaller and, um, and just like nice and uh, contoured. And I like to look, put a little bit here in between in this um, cupid's area here. So you see how it kind of gives you that like shimmer. I'm gonna go back to this Bobbi Brown um, product that I like um, and I'm gonna be using this shade uh, with a fluffy brush like this. And this is gonna go on the apples of the cheek and just like so. I like to take this brush and then um, kind of just blend this all together. typically um, use false lashes every day but I know that people don't feel comfortable using it. It definitely does take practice if you're a beginner. A, a good lash, um, everyday lash that I like is um, Ardell um, and it's the Demi Wispies. Um, these you can find at any drugstore. Um, Ulta carries it. I don't think Sephora, Sephora carries this brand but um, this is an everyday lash that I really like. Um, but if you don't want to use lashes, then you can definitely just use mascara. I don't have um, very um, long lashes, so um, I like to use um, mascara that um, has a very small um, wand so that I can really get in there. If you're putting on a false lash, you don't need to curl them with a uh, lash curler. If you're not going to do a false um, lash, I would... Um, then use my curler um, and then I would curl them a little bit. Once they've dried, um, and then I would go back again and um, I would uh, apply a little bit more and I would just do that a couple times until you get them to um, the length that you want. So you see, um, it just like really opens up the eye. And then I like to take my um, small um, wand brush to do the bottom lashes, um, just so that you don't um, get anything underneath the eye. And I'm gonna use it on this eye too, um, even though I'm gonna do a false lash on this eye. Before, actually before I do that, um, I do want to use a little bit of eyeliner. With eyeliner, um, you really just um, need to find what works best for you. I like to use a liquid liner. Um, I like this product, it's by Stila, um, and you can find it at um, Ulta or Sephora. And it's in the shape of a pen. I just find that it's easier for me to use, um, but you have to find what works best for you. So um, what I like to do is, um, first I like to test it out um, on the back of my hand, um, you know, just to make sure that it's not dry, you can work with it. For this look, I kind of just want to focus on the, the outer um, corner of the eye and then kind of continuing, um, you know, the outer corner um, where you applied the um, eyeshadow. Kind of starting off in the middle and then just working my way to the outer corner. And I really want it to be um, super creased and kind of straight looking. Um, because that's just going to um, make it uh, more defined um, on that outer corner. So, just like so. And you see how when you do a liner, it just changes the whole look. Um, uh, this is something more natural if you're not a, um, if you're not comfortable using a liner, um, you can totally keep it this way and it's still natural and pretty, um, or you can do a liner and, um, you know, it just, it makes it, um, a more dramatic look. I always like to do my liner first and then I apply uh, my lash. So, um, the glue that I like to use is, um, this Kiss product. It's, um, like a little stick like this. 
I like to get my lash um, and I like to apply it to the lashes, to the lash line, a good amount, but you wanna let it uh, dry first before you apply it um, to the eyes. And you wanna do that because if it's still wet and it's gonna slip all over your eye and then you're just gonna get frustrated and, and give up. You want it to have um, a, like a tacky consistency rather than it being all um, like wet and, and slippery. So I just wanna let that dry just for a little bit. Um, so just use your pluckers. Um, and so I like to grab them um, right in the middle. So like so. Um, and so again, you're gonna keep your eyes um, open, but you're gonna look down. Um, and you wanna start by applying them um, right in the middle, and then you wanna work them to the corners. And they'll just slide on very easily. I like to take the back of my pluckers to kind of just set them in. Um, and I like to kind of smush them together. My natural and ooh, the falsy. And, and at the end, um, once they're uh, kind of drying, um, I like to go back with the glue and I will just um, put some in that corner, the just in the corners to make sure that they're nice and, and um, they'll be in place. And then I'll go back with my liner um, and then I'll just kind of get rid of any glue that I see um, that's kind of, um, usually it will dissolve and, and it won't be white, it will just, um, it'll just be clear. But sometimes there'll be little areas, so I like to go back with the liner. So um, that's what it looks like with the liner and with a um, false lash. And again, this lash is, it's very um, natural. So um, it's, um, it's a very pretty lash for an everyday look. So now I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna do more of a nude lip. I like this uh, nude lip liner and it's by Bite. I like to wear um, liquid lipsticks. I like this one by um, Too Faced um, and it's a nude color. Uh, my lips tend to get really dry, so um, I like to apply that all over. Um, and it's just, um, it kind of has a little bit of a glossy look all over. I like to go back with um, the lip liner and then just define the line. And then in the end, I like to just do a little bit of gloss. Um, this is by Lancome, um, and I don't know if this product is discontinued or not, but I really love it, and it just gives you a nice, um, a glossy look. And um, this is kind of the finished look. Um, Again, um, this is um, more of a daytime look. Um, on this eye here, I did just mascara, um, and this one I added um, liner and um, a false lash, and so this is more of an advanced step. Um, so thank you so much for watching, um, and we'll see you soon.